Hello to all my friends out there. So it's lunchtime. So I made my own ice cubes. Uh, this morning I was at Walmart, so I picked up two cans of Rotel tomatoes. When I stockpile, I usually stockpile two and two cans of corn. I was watching a prepper video and he suggested four. So the corn was 50 cents, so that's a dollar. And these were 60 something cents, so figured $2.60. So I wasn't spending that much money. Okay, for my drink, I stockpiled from Dollar Tree two of these these beverages so you get 12 for two dollars and i think i will go for watermelon uh, i i got the blue ones in a dumpster and so you know i gave them away and i didn't think anything of it and then i saw they had them and i thought oh, i'm gonna buy those these are good Oh, and you get quite a bit. This is more than enough beverage. See? That's about two cups in because those little cups hold, uh, hold uh, one cup. Okay, so now let's see what happens. So here is my tomato, uh, mushroom, and onion quiche. You could put, I usually make broccoli, um, broccoli cauliflower, no, broccoli, um, chicken and cheese. I usually put cheese in my um, quiches, but this time I didn't put any. I put a little Parmesan cheese. They're a little bit tricky to get out when they're not, they're crustless, but you just have to carefully remove it. Aha! Okay, that's a good looking little quiche. Uh, and another thing about these quiches, if you've never made one, they freeze, they freeze really good too. So, okay, I want to cut, let's see, where are the tomatoes? Uh, I tried to make it so each piece would have a tomato. Um, I am going to, these are good. If you've never made a quiche, it's very, very easy. And then I made some cooked fruit. Now, in this case, this is all this is, is some cooked fruit. Okay, you know those TV dinners where they have the apple cooked fruit? This is just uh, canned pears, and I boiled it. Uh, fruit tastes really delicious with a quiche. I just put the contents in the can, and I boiled them, and I cut them with the side of my spatula. And then here's my homemade yogurt. I will eat a little. Um, you know, to make your own yogurt, you know, a little batch like this is about one can of um, evaporated milk, one can water. You don't need that much um, yogurt. I'll show you in one second. So I will have a little, this is good. This is more than enough yogurt to make another batch. I think I had less than that last time. Then I don't have tea, but I still want to have a few cookies. I bought this cute, adorable plate at uh, Dollar Tree. And then I bought these cookies marked down and I wisely saved one package. These were, I think these were 50 cents. But the thing about these, uh, I will buy this brand whether they're on sale or not. Uh, the thing is, in this way you only get five, so you know, at least I won't be picking out.
Okay, so now let me taste my quiche and I will tell you. I will tell you. If it's good, I will tell you. If it's awful, I will tell you. But it's not going to be awful. Uh, you know, uh, Parmesan cheese and, uh, and roasted tomatoes is very good in scones. It's very yummy. Okay. There you have it, lunchtime. Crossless quiche. Try this, you guys. This is yummy. God bless you all.